KYC with Bankser on Pi Network. What is Bankser? What is KYC with Bankser? How does this affect me as a Pi Network user, or a pioneer, or a Pi Coin miner? What does this mean to the security of our Pi wallet? Do not worry if this is what you're asking, you're wondering what's going on. Do not worry, I got the whole load down for you. Welcome, this is Pi, Pi Network Africa News Update. My name is XT and Della. You can call me X. Yes, letter X to make money my life and yours much 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 easier yes um bankser is a name that has been trending a lot of us just recently even came to know about bankser what is bankser what is going on i went to my pi wallet and i found this pop-up notification that i'm actually seeing here kyc with bankser usually completes within five minutes you will need to purchase pi on the on ramp what does this mean for you now to break it down for you uh, simply i hope you have subscribed if you haven't subscribed because remember we are building a fine network community with just focusing 100% on Pi coin and Pi network, nothing else, not crypto other project. So please subscribe and share this, especially to people who stopped mining in your mining circle. They stopped mining because they don't have information. So send them this, let them understand what's going on. So if you've been trying to actually get your KYC done, if you were stuck at KYC, you've been sending, you were struggling, you don't know what's going on. This is for you. You need to understand what's going on, what is banks and how you can take advantage of this and what Pi team, Pi core team actually means by KYC with banks. So right now, when you head over to your wallet, if you haven't done your KYC yet, uh, unfortunately for me, I have done my KYC. So this is not an option on my wallet. Um, but this would be an option on your wallet. Uh, if you're just joining Pi or you are checking it right now and you're wondering what's going on. So what do I do? It is very simple. So Pi Network has introduced two ways to do your KYC. So what is KYC? KYC is know your customer, you know your client. It's very, very important for you to come through and uh, be identified as a human being in the Pi Network ecosystem. And that's exactly what uh, Pi Network stands for, dealing with human beings and making sure that bots and AGI and robots and all this online things, uh, scammers do not actually penetrate the ecosystem. So I want to remind you that Pi has two angles. The Pi has the mining angle where you mine your coin and then Pi has the trading angle where you can just come and trade. And a lot of people normally get confused. So you'd find that if, uh, when it comes to this activation of this wallet, now this wallet, first of all, it is found in the Pi browser app. So you need to go and download the Pi browser if you haven't to get a Pi wallet. Now, the Pi wallet is where you store your Pi coins. Now, you can buy your Pi coins from any exchange like OKX, uh, like all this uh, other exchanges that actually trade with um, uh, that, that, that have listed Pi. Buy that and then uh, store them on your wallet, on your Pi wallet. You can transfer to your Pi wallet that is on your Pi browser. That is where the wallet is, is hosted. But remember, there's also another app that is the mining app that exclusively just does the mining now that app for the longest time ever has been also a way to do your kyc uh, but the pi core team shifted towards the main browser pi browser bringing the kyc uh, functionality there so you, you you will actually find the kyc functionality uh and there's a menu i think for the kyc application and the process on the pi browser as well now introduction of Banksa is just making it much easy so what is Banksa? now Banksa is a company that actually focuses on the off ramping and on ramping of crypto uh for of users on the crypto platforms so i i know on ramping off ramping too complicated do not worry and that is why i am here to explain to you what on ramping and off ramping basically means now on ramping is basically you buying you uh, the crypto uh, using your fiat currency i'm talking about your local currency uh, uh, buying you using your visa buying using your mastercard buying you using google uh, google pay because now google pay has actually integrated with so many um, uh, countries across the world um, also you can pay using apple pay if you're on apple so this is huge this is very 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 huge now, now, this company does this um, and has been doing this since 2014. 
they're really good at that. Apart from the on-ramping and off-ramping, uh, they also offer the KYC services. Now, this KYC services are, are, are what exactly the PyCore team have actually um, gotten uh, from... I'm sorry for that. Uh, the PyCore team has actually gotten from them uh, this particular... KYC process where you get to use the banks' services that have been in operation since 2014. People who operate um, uh, billions of billions of dollars every year in terms of uh, people buying and selling, uh, on ramping and off ramping. Remember, I told you that on ramping and off ramping. Yeah, people buying and selling crypto using local currencies. Now, this is a lot of people are looking at it like Pi. Uh, Pi Network is slowly introducing a way for people to start trading and buying uh, Pi coins from within the Pi browser uh, by engaging a company that does the same thing. Remember, um, uh, Banksa is the same company that offers the on-ramping and off-ramping services for OKX. Yes, OKX, the same platform that was among the first platforms to actually list Pi Network, uh, uses the same services. So, Pi Network, on this front, they're engaging um, um, banks are on the KYC element and aspect uh, of this. Because banks are offering um, the same services it offers for OKX. Believe you me, that they have experience uh, since 2014 in terms of, yeah, that's more than 10 years of, of experience of running KYC on people on large scale. And Pi is heading towards, uh, has opted for this route because remember, Pi uh, initially had validators. Now, validators are people like me. I was a validator. Validators are people who used to validate the authenticity of your identity cards when you apply, when you're actually doing your KYC. So if you haven't done your KYC, remember KYC requires your official government um, identification card, meaning that if you're under the age of 18, like in most countries, that's normally the, the, the age gap for you to get your identification number, 16 to 18. If you're not within that age of, of you getting your identification card, you cannot have a Pi account, a Pi network account. You cannot mine Pi without proving that you're an adult, without proving that you have identification, without proving that you're a human being. And that in itself, uh, initially, what Pi Network had came up with this creative way of letting pioneers actually within the same country. I, 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 I'm Kenyan. So in Kenya, I was a validator looking at identity cards for Kenyans. So when you apply, uh, you uh, a pop-up used to come. We had a dashboard. So you go and confirm whether or not this identification card is from Kenya, whether or not it's legitimate. So as a Kenyan, I can know. I can know whether or not it's real, whether or not it's fake. I can know. So the validators are being uh, paid in Pi and being rewarded by helping do the KYC process. Now, the problem with this is um, people might gang up human error and a lot of slippages and things were not, not just going perfectly the way uh, the Pi Core team envisioned. Secondly, the number of people joining was higher by th than the number of validators and the Pi Core team didn't want to water down the quality of, of, of KYC by just allowing everyone to become a validator. It didn't make sense. The number of people joining is just so, 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 so much that the Pi Core team would, could actually handle. So they decided to actually now uh, uh, introduce another third party to handle the KYC process. Now, a lot of people have been having mixed reactions uh, to this news. Remember, the PyCoin team up to this point have not officially made this public. So a lot of people who are, and, and the number of people who are seeing this, I think are new pioneers who are just joining Pi right now. All the pioneers like me haven't seen this, haven't seen this option, but the community is buzzing with this. Officially, up to this point that I'm recording this video, Pi Network has not issued a, an official statement. Banks themselves have not issued an, an official statement. The, it's like nothing is happening. Uh, but we've seen it uh, happening. It's actually being integrated. And the PyCode, maybe they're testing it out, maybe later on to come and introduce. As I said, the community is buzzing. People are talking about, finally, Pi Network might be launching its own exchange. And I think we need another video to talk about the possibilities of Pi Network and banks are opening up their own exchanges. What would this mean? For the Pine Network, if banks are a company that allows people to actually buy crypto using their local currency and you can exchange crypto 
back to your local currency. Um, whatever country you are in, you can withdraw your Pi network to your local currency. Basically, that is what is what it means that you can literally withdraw your Pi network coins. So a lot of people have been talking that the Pi Core team has been silent. The Pi Core team is not working. The Pi Core team does not listen to us. But lo and behold, integrations like banks that we never thought would were even existing. The Pi Core team is shocking us. So things might be changing. The Pi Core team is bullish. People are bullish about what is happening. But I don't know, tell me what you think on the comment section below. A lot of people still are skeptical about this because remember, Banksa has a fee. You need, uh, you need to buy Pi. Uh, and remember, Banksa is making money through the transaction fee when you're buying using your local currency. So for you to go to banks, and, and, I, and I've heard a, a couple of people saying, from the screenshots I've, so, I've, I've seen uh, on the community going around, people are saying the, the lowest you can actually buy um, uh, this for, you can buy Pi for is $20. It means that this KYC with Banksa would cost you $20 to do. So the question is, would you wait for the slow process that Pi is currently doing uh, with, uh, uh, with the liveness check where you get a link with the two-factor authentication, a link is sent to your email, then you click the link, you do the, the two-factor authentication with your face, do you scan your face? Are you going to do that? Or are you going to go the KYC with Banksa route, which also does the same thing, but you pay, but you actually get ahead of the line. With $20, you get your KYC done and get your Pi Network wallet active in five minutes. That's what they're saying here. So I am not sure yet about the official pricing because Pi Network has not um Given other pricing, I'm, give, I'm I'm telling you the twenty dollars is what we have seen go around to the community. The official communication. I want to repeat and reiterate that is not the official price that is going to cost you for KYC. Predominantly, Pi has always wanted everything to be free, so we do not know about this. They're talking about cost implications. They have not stated the official communication has not been done. This is still the early phases and the early steps. So this is still bullish. This is still good, and the community is talking. So. Tell me what you think on the comment section below. Have you done your KYC? Are you super excited about this? Pine Network Bankser integration. Do you see the future of Bankser? What do you see in all this? I don't know. We are super excited. This is new, especially the fact that Pine Network might just be launching its own trading, its own crypto trading platform within the Pi browser, allowing you to, with, to withdraw Pi coins using your local currency, integrating with Apple Pay, integrating with Google Pay. Remember, Google Pay has access to each and every country. And this is what the integration and the partnership with the banks are. Pi Network and Banksa. This is what the integration means in the future. So tell me what you think in the comment section below. Are you bullish about this? Are you not bullish? Tell me what you think. Please make sure that you share this information with the pioneer and let us grow the community. This has been the Pi Network Africa news update hosted by me, XT and Della. You can call me X to make my life and yours more much, much easier. See you on the next one.